Alright, in this video we're going to talk about another unit of concentration, in this case uh, parts per million. So parts per million, again, is a unit of concentration, so we're measuring how much stuff have we mixed into our solvent to make the solution, how much of the solute have we mixed in. So parts per million is used for if we have a very small concentration. So if we have a very small concentration of uh, solute particles, that's where we'll use parts per million, because we're talking about a few parts or a handful of parts per million parts of solution. So we're talking about a very small concentration when we use parts per million. So again, parts per million is just exactly what it sounds like, is how many grams of solute are, in one, are, are there in one million grams of the solution. So the formula here, again, this is on the back of your reference table as well, so you don't need to memorize this, but parts per million equals the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution times a million here at the end to make it parts per million. So if we look at some calculations here, we have 3.8 times 10 to the negative fourth grams of helium gas dissolved into 450 grams of water. What is the concentration in parts per million? So this, we have in scientific notation here, if we convert this to a decimal, we'd have 0 0.00038 grams of helium. So that's our solute, that's what we're mixing in. So again, the parts per million formula, if we look, is uh, mass of the solute divided by mass of the solution. So we have mass of the solute here, divided by mass of the solution, which would be technically 450 plus this mass of helium that we've added in. But realistically, if we add 450 plus .00038, we're going to have 450 .00038 here. That's going to be so close to 450. Basically, when you're doing parts per million, usually it's going to be a small enough amount of solute that it's going to be insignificant compared to the mass of the, sol of the solution or the solvent. So really here we can kind of just uh, consider this 0 .0038 negligible and divide this by just 450, 450 grams of solution. And then we'll multiply by a million at the end to give us parts per million. So if we just divide this out and then multiply, this will give us uh, about 0 0.844 parts per million and that would be parts per million of helium in the solution. All right, so the parts per million formula, again, we're just gonna plug straight into that with the information for the problem. So this is our solute here, how much solute we have dissolved in. And again, this is the mass, the grams of the solute. And then here we have the grams of solution. So where this differs from molarity is A, we're measuring a lot smaller quantity and multiplying it by a million to, to kind of see uh, on that smaller scale how much do we have. And also we're using mass here. We have grams of solution on the top and the bottom. We're not using moles, we're not using liters, we're using all mass here. Parts by million, parts per million is a direct comparison of masses. So again, just plugging in, we end up with 0.844 parts per million here. All right, so we have a company testing drinking water and they want to know how much calcium can we have in this water to keep it below this threshold of 155 parts per million. So what is the maximum amount of calcium that could be allowed into an 890 gram sample of water? So again, we'll just use the parts per million formula here. We're solving for the mass of calcium. So we have parts per million equals mass of solute over mass of solution times 1 million. So here we have the parts per million. We have 155 parts per million equals the mass of the solute, and that's what we're looking for. What, what is the maximum amount of calcium that would be allowed? So how much calcium could we add? That's our solute. So the mass of the solute is what we're solving for here. The mass of the solution is 890 grams. And again, we can just kind of assume that because we're talking about parts per million here on such a small scale, that the mass of the calcium that we're adding is not going to contribute uh, an appreciable amount, uh, a significant amount to this solution. And then we have again times a million at the end here. So to solve this, we just want to uh, get the mass of the solute by itself. 
So we can multiply both sides by 890 and then divide by a million. So this would be 155 divided by 890 times a million, one more zero there, a million would give us uh, the parts per million, or the mass, excuse me, of the solute. So if you just do that out, you get the mass of the solute to be 0 0.138 grams of calcium that we can mix in to this solution. All right, so parts per million, it's uh, kind of similar to molarity. They're both measures of concentration, but again, here we're, we're, we're using the mass for both the solute and the solvent, so that's where it differs. So molarity, we're using moles and liters. With parts per million, we're using mass on the top and bottom. And don't forget to multiply your answer by a million at the end. Uh, if you get an answer that's uh, maybe, let's say, like for this question, uh, or for the previous question, we maybe got like 0.000000, .000000 something eight maybe for our, our parts per million. But if you got that, that means you forgot to multiply by a million at the end. So if you multiply this by a million, then you get a more reasonable answer. So just remember to convert to parts per million, make sure you multiply by a million at the end. All right, I hope this was helpful. Thank you.